Welcome to Fallout History for June by Nukipedia, the Fallout Wiki. Eid Mubarak for those who celebrate. Back on June 28, 1768, the gilded grasshopper weathervane was restored and returned to the top of Fanuli Hall. A big leap now to June 25, 2042. Robco Industries is founded by Robert House. Feeling the heat? In June 2065, a nuclear reactor in New York City had a supercritical accident and melted down due to high demand. Power rationing would lead this to being called the hot summer. Moving now to 2072, we receive confirmation that the United States' new superweapon has been developed to liberate Anchorage. Also in 2072, riots start to break out in Canadian cities and sabotage of the Alaskan pipeline builds justification for the annexation of Canada. Four years later, in 2076, T-51 power armor would be sent to the front. Its high performance leads to demoralization of the other side, surrenders, broken supply lines, and eventually collapse of the Chinese effort. On June 19, 2077, Anthony House seals himself inside the H&H &H tools factory and arms all of the security systems. That can't be good. Post-war now, as June 2086 starts, the Battle of Huntersville ends with the Brotherhood of Steel and Responders victorious. Up on the mountains, however, David Thorpe accepts Brody's idea of infiltrating the Order of Mysteries. Olivia Rivers attacks the North Cutthroat camp and makes a pact with Brody. In 2094, McFadden reactivates the Vault Tech Agricultural Center's Mr. Handys, but he's unable to get them to start planting. Over now to the West Coast, between June 23 and June 27, Harold's expedition locates the source of a mutant threat at Mariposa Military Base. A robotic crane knocks both him and Richard Gray into an FEV vat. Forever transformed, Harold would be rescued by a merchant caravan and returned to the hub. His state leads to a loss of friends and eventually poverty for Harold. As for Richard Gray, that's another story. This has been Fallout History, I've been Agent C and our fresh look is by Fresh Your Mama. See you next month.